In Germany, new guns were made for the army, and by 1905, a huge fleet of warships was being built. But in 1906, Britain launched a new kind of fast and heavily armed battleship, the Dreadnought. Wilhelm didn't want to be left out. He wanted his own empire and navy to rival Britain's. When as a little boy I was allowed to visit Portsmouth and Plymouth, I admired the proud English ships. There awoke in me the wish to build ships of my own like these someday, and when I was grown up to possess as fine a navy as the English. So Germany announced that they would build four dreadnoughts. Britain wasn't going to be outdone, and soon the two countries were involved in a naval arms race. The great German landowning families supported the build-up of the armed forces. Like the Kaiser and his generals, they believed in German supremacy and wanted a German empire to rival the empires of Britain and France. As the Imperial German Navy, based on its North Sea harbours, grew year by year, Britain's sense of safety diminished. Lord Haldane, an admirer of much in Germany, summed the feeling up. We who live on islands and are dependent for our food and our raw materials on our being able to protect their transport could not permit that protection to be threatened by the creation of naval forces intended to make it precarious. <laughs> 